Hello everyone, it's me Beth. Well, I am snowed in. So I thought I would share with you uh, how I put up oats when I'm working all by myself, when you don't have any extra hands. I had this big 50 pound bag of oats that needed put up. Um, I put some in jars, but we have to finish up with these Mylar bags. I label what's going in the bags, where I purchased it, the date, and my cooking instructions. I know some people like to put um, how long they think it'll last after the date that they've put them in the bag, but these are century bags, so I know about how long that will be, so I don't put any more uh, extra information. I keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna add in these eight cups to start with. Now, I like to use my bags um, up as full as I can. Two reasons, because it saves money when you fill them up, and two, the oxygen absorbers don't have to work as hard. If you were wondering what that pitcher was there for, well, now you see it's super heavy and it holds the bag upright uh, when I don't have someone to hold it for me. Now I'm gonna add five more cups. Well, at first I'm gonna make a mess because you guys are watching. Um, I started with the eight cups and now I'm gonna add about five more. Give me about 13 cups total and 26 servings. You can see it's a couple inches from the top. I take a paper towel and I wipe that oatmeal dust off. I don't think there probably be a huge problem with sealing, but I don't wanna risk it. 50 of these bags with 50 oxygen absorbers cost uh, $35, so I don't really wanna run any bags. Now I'll shake that down. If you have a heavy duty bag and you're working by yourself, it helps because when you make that crease and you fold it, it'll pretty much stay on its own. Uh, that helps when I'm using the uh, flat iron to uh, seal it up. Now I keep the this little jar here with my oxygen absorbers and I put the beans in there. That way they don't have to work as hard. And uh, I just seal that back up. Those I bought on the, well, I packed on the seventh. Those oxygen absorbers are from the seventh. So they're pretty soft and still good, which is what I would expect out of them. And I'm gonna put them down into the, put the oxygen absorber down into the bag it is a 500 oxygen absorber, if you were wondering. Now I'm going to make this fold. I'm going to hold it with my left hand. I'm right-handed and use my right hand. Now some people go long ways, but I like the short ways as far as getting it to seal. Now it might look like I'm struggling a little here. I'm trying to hold it for you and hold it so that the camera can see what I'm doing. But it is super simple. Don't let this scare you. It's simply because I'm trying to hold it uh, for you to see and Please forgive me that my hand is in the way. Uh, holding it for the camera is making it a little harder for me. I leave that little end open so when I fold it here and I can squeeze out just a little bit more air before I finish it. So I leave about one inch down there on the end and then I finish it up once I think I've got all the air out that I can get out. Now I have a bad habit of bumping my iron and putting it on low heat and that's why I'm doing it a few times. If I have it on, I just put it on medium heat. If I have it on medium heat, um, and it's at a medium heat, uh, I only usually have to make one pass, but I'll make two passes today just to be sure that I've got it sealed up. And that's about as easy as it gets. When I do the jars, I have to sanit sanitize them. I mean, the food looks beautiful. Don't get me wrong, and you can see what's going on in your jar, but this is really the easiest way, in my opinion, to put this oatmeal away. I'm gonna flatten this out, and if you're wondering why, I'm gonna put them in them barrels, and if I can get these flat, I can get more in the barrel. If I stack them from the bottom to the top, they'll just sit on top of each other. That round shape will take up a little bit more space. And uh, so here we go. That's what it looks like for now. In a little bit, that oxygen absorber is going to start working. And the edge of the bag, it'll start folding in and you'll see it working. And there won't be as much air. So such a great thing to have if you're prepping. Um, I know that I sure am thankful for them. So here's some of that oatmeal. I ended up making some. I thought, well, if I'm working with oatmeal, I'll go ahead and make me some for breakfast. And of course, if you know me, um, I had to add a little bit of brown sugar and cinnamon and butter. I might be a plain Jane, but when it comes to food, I like a little bit of flavor. So thank you for watching. If you like prepping videos, give me a like, and then I'll talk to you again soon. Have a good day.